Welcome back, Sparkies. It's time to take out your Red Skystormer handbooks. Today we're starting Red Jewel 3 about Peter and the First Church, and we're going to do Red Jewel 3.1 and 3.2 together. Are you ready? Mom, I'm hungry, the widow's son cried. The widow peeked out her doorway. Where is Tabitha, she wondered. Mommy, I'm cold. Her small daughter shivered. The young widow began to worry. Her husband had died, and now she barely had any money to care for her family. Kind Tabitha had promised to bring food and a new robe for her daughter. But Tabitha was not usually late. Come with me, children. Let's visit our friend Dorcas, said the widow. Dorcas was another name for Tabitha. When the family arrived at Tabitha's house, they peered inside. They saw Tabitha's tall wooden loom and the stool where she always sat to weave the clothes. <coughs> Suddenly, they heard a woman coughing. Tabitha? they called. The widow and her children rushed into Tabitha's room. They saw their friend lying in bed and looking terribly pale. Oh, Tabitha, please don't die, the widow begged. We need you. The anxious widow picked up her children and hurried outside to the streets. Tabitha is sick, she shouted to all the poor widows from the church. Tabitha is sick, she cried to the other church people standing nearby. At once, the followers of Jesus came running from everywhere in the village of Joppa. They all wanted to take care of the lovely lady Tabitha, who had always taken care of them. But how sad. Nobody could do anything to help. In just a short time, dear Tabitha was dead. How will we live without her? wailed all the poor widows. The women washed her and dressed her in burial clothes. Then they laid her in a room upstairs. There must be something we can do, said the people of the church. Why don't we ask the Apostle Peter to come help us? He's visiting a town nearby. Meanwhile, all the widows, young and old, stayed in the room with Tabitha. They didn't want to leave their friend. When Peter entered the room, the widows crowded around him, crying. <laughs> Tabitha loved Jesus, and she showed his love to us, said one of the widows. See this beautiful robe she made me? Then another widow spoke up. Tabitha was always helping those in need. Look at the bright colors she wove into my coat. I feel like a queen. The name Tabitha means gazelle, said a woman softly. Tabitha's eyes were just like a gazelle, dark and gentle. Oh, if only those kind eyes would open once more. Peter pointed to the door. Everyone must leave, he ordered. As the widows turned to go, they saw Peter kneeling to pray. I wonder what God will do, they whispered to each other. After a few moments, Peter called the widows and the other church people to the room. Beside him stood Tabitha, alive. What a miracle, the people shouted. The widows rushed in to hug their friend. Now in those days, before the whole Bible was written, God gave the apostles power to do miracles so people would believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And that's just what happened. When the people of Joppa heard about this miracle, many of them believed. The church was glad to have Tabitha back, but Tabitha had work to do. She looked at the young widow who had visited her house that day. I know a little girl who needs a robe, said Tabitha, <laughs> smiling. Sparkies, here's what you can learn from Tabitha's biography. God has the power to do anything, even raise the dead. Spend your time serving those in need, like Tabitha did. You can read more about Tabitha in your Bible. Look up the New Testament book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. So where does this fit in the Bible? The Apostle Peter was a leader in the first church at Jerusalem. Peter was one of Jesus' twelve apostles. Some of the Jews in Jerusalem tried to kill the people of the church for preaching about Jesus. 
So most of the believers moved out of Jerusalem to start new churches in the nearby areas of Judea and Samaria. Peter stayed at Jerusalem, but he often visited the new churches. One of these was Tabitha's church in the town of Joppa. 1 John 3, 17 through 18. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. Remember, the world's goods means things like money, clothes, food, or shelter. Brother refers to anyone in God's family, the church. And not love in word means don't just talk about loving someone, show them by what you do. So let's say that Bible verse one more time. 1 John 3, 17 through 18. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. That's a long one, but I know that you can learn it. To finish this section, tell your grown-up helper what Tabitha did to serve others, and then say 1 John 3, 17 through 18. Have your grown-up helper sign your handbook, and don't forget to complete your weekly check-in. I'll see you next week. Our next section is the return flight review, and there are three things we need to do. Number one, say all the Old Testament books again. These are listed on page 17 of your handbook. Number two, fill in the missing letters in the five Old Testament books below in your handbook and use the word bank for clues. We'll do that together. And number three, look up each of the five books in your Bible and show your grown-up helper. Let's start by listening to a song that reviews all of the Old Testament books. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Now let's do number two, which is our Old Testament letter puzzle. Our word bank is on the left. Can you figure it out? Hmm. We have Zechariah, Numbers, Ruth, Esther, and Isaiah. These are not in Bible order. They're all mixed up for us. What could the first puzzle be? Hmm. Blank, S, T, blank, E, blank. That's Esther. Good job. The second one, I blank, A blank, A H. And that's right. It's Isaiah. Here's a long one. Blank, E, C, H, blank, R, blank, blank, H. Zechariah, N blank, M blank, E blank, blank, numbers. 
And the last one's got to be pretty easy. Blank U blank H. Ruth. Let's do the third part. For an extra challenge, write the five books from the puzzle on the, in the right Bible order. Hmm. What could they be? Numbers, Ruth, Esther, Isaiah, and Zechariah. Great job. To finish this section, say all the Old Testament books. Fill in the missing letters for the five Old Testament books and find each of the five books in your Bible and show your grown-up helper. Remember to have your grown-up helper sign the handbook and don't forget to complete your weekly check-in. But before you go, let's listen to that Old Testament books again. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, 